Hello. Um, I thought I, um, I'm just going to do another Star Wars related video. Um, I saw something uh, earlier in the week around the time I did that Ryan Johnson video. And I just thought, why not? Um, I'll just make a video at the end of the week, and uh, that'll be that. Um, so the video I'm um, talking about, or what I'm going to do, is this article. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. And what it is is basically uh, potential Star Wars spin-off films. Um, looking through this a little bit, uh, some could be good, you know, if they execute it well, and others would be like, no. Um, the first one is an Obi-Wan Kenobi film, which, as we know, uh, is a film that will happen. Uh, it said it's, they have an intention to make us Obi-Wan film. Uh, they hope to star you. Have, they hope to it stars you McGregor, which so many fans also want. Because otherwise, if it's not starring him, what's the point of you even doing uh, an Obi-Wan film? Honestly, um, the plus side is he has expressed interest in be being Obi-Wan again. So. And there is an untitled anthology film for 2020, so could it be an Obi-Wan film? Or maybe it's some other movie film. We just don't know at this uh, moment in time. Now this is, the next one is the film I don't really uh, agree with. And, and it's Jabba the Hutt. I just don't see a Jabba the Hutt film being really appealing um, uh, just to anybody. I mean, unless you're, aside from very uh, dedicated fans of the franchise, I just don't see a Jabba the Hutt movie being um, something people would run to just see right away on day one, um, you know, in droves, like, that's like a gotta see you film, um, I just don't see that myself, perhaps I could be wrong, uh, trailers could make it look interesting, I guess, though, again, what they could do with him, I don't know, I guess, how he became a huge gangster, like he was, like, powerful gangster, not huge, like he's fat, but, you know, Guillermo del Toro uh, apparently said he talked with Kathleen Kennedy about making a Star Wars film. Um, he didn't say what he would like to be called, or what he would want to do, or what his idea was for it, I should say. But he did, has expressed interest in making a Jabba the Hutt movie uh, before. And now another is uh, Boba Fett. Uh, this has been a huge uh, film I kept seeing rumored, um, along with Obi-Wan. That's one that kept getting popped up at the top of the list um, for fans. Uh, and again, there's a 2020 anthology film to release. Nobody knowing what kind of film it's going to be, what kind of anthology film it will be. Um, so it could be an Obi-Wan movie, or it could be a Boba Fett movie. Um, it's not really necessarily... It doesn't look like it will be like an origin film. Um, and apparently, it says it's not like a strictly a Boba Fett movie. It'll be like an ensemble of bounty hunters on an adventure. Though, I guess from whatever people have 
found out from some source. Um, um, he he will be like a central character. Um, like he may be a central one of the central characters, I guess. It's, it's, Sounds as though that is just one important component of the movie, as opposed to the central character. So, if it's an ensemble, I would, I would just gather you'd make Boba Fett a central character. If it's going to be an ensemble, you're going to focus a good deal on him, as well as any other bounty hunter in the film. Another is Yoda. Um... A Yoda film, um, um, that could be interesting, uh, Yoda did live for 900 years, so who knows what kind of stuff, you know, he was doing. I don't know what to think of that one. Um, it just is it's just odd. Uh, in that regard, like what could you do with Yoda? It's kind of odd to try and think how to do a Yoda story justice. Um, not that it's been possible, but some of them I feel it's a bit, some of their choices are like, it's kind of, maybe I shouldn't say odd, odd isn't a good word, but it's very interesting. Though I guess some could see a Yoda movie being odd, like the mystique and mystery, mystery of him is, it's good enough, we don't really need uh, a backstory or anything like that. Same with Han Solo, we don't need a Han Solo film. Explain like how we became on Solo. And another one is uh, Darth Vader and the Great Jedi Purge. Um, that could be that could be uh, a very, an interesting book, showing Vader going around killing Jedi's. Um, And yeah, uh, uh, now it could be a good potential film uh, to be made, honestly. Um, but we don't know. Um, we'll have to see if this ever comes to fruition, or any of these movies do. Though I believe Obi Wan and Boba Fett are essentially a sure thing. Whether which one comes out first is kind of up in the air. But a Darth Vader and Jedi Purge film would be something to see. It would be quite uh, interesting. To say the least, uh, a Mace Windu film. Um, you know, he was thrown out of a window after being electrocuted. By the Emperor, um, but last year uh, George Lucas shocked fans by revealing that he, uh, Mace wasn't dead because we never saw his body. And also Samuel Jackson gave fans a video message uh, at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, where he basically implored Kathleen Kennedy to bring Mace Windu back. Could be interesting, uh, him having like a robotic hand and uh, just going on and doing what Mace Windu does. Uh, very possible. And then the last was, um, or no, not the last, um, the Knights of Ren. Um, uh, Kylo Ren's mysterious faithful uh, 
were only briefly shown in The Force Awakens. And, and I guess this is before the... Yeah, that people really don't know about the Knights of Ren. They were just there. Um, they any help in killing the rest of the, you know, Jedis of Luke's temple, or no, are they a bunch of people he rounded up, or something with the First Order, or Empire, or whatever. We don't know anything about the Knights of Ren. Um, in the last film, it could be a spinoff is Jar Jar Binks. Apparently, Liam Neeson said that uh, at a Star Wars Celebration video that he, made, that he had an appearance that he was making a sequel to Star Wars, an accident prone alien. Uh, he was joking. Uh, and, uh, And possibly, if they did ever make a Jar Jar Binks movie, I think people would want that Darth Jar Jar kind of film. People would want to see him evil, I think, at this point. But yeah, really, uh, Knights of Ren. I don't know if they, they, people made a big deal about them, but then they were really nothing uh, at this moment in time. Jedi Purge, Boba Fett, Mace Windu, Yoda. Could be interesting, possibly, depending on how well they do, as well as Obi-Wan. But Jabba the Hutt is the film I just don't see uh, running out to the theater for. Uh, being a real marketable film. I could be wrong. I myself just don't uh, see it exactly. In a Jar Jar film... Could be good or bad, uh, but yeah, um, agree with me, disagree with me, what do you think, do you think any of these potential films by the, with these characters or potentially uh, events with the like, Darth Vader and the Purge uh, film, do you think any of those could be good or do you think they would be bad or somewhere in the middle or you think some other film should be made regarding Star Wars characters or events that we could see um, as you all know the Obi-Wan film is my personal favorite uh, spin-off I would like to see I kind of talked about that before um, though a Boba Fett movie wouldn't be bad uh, he's kind of mysterious don't really need to get exactly an origin film because part of what we like is he's mysterious. We don't really know exactly all what happened after episode two, except he shows up later and is a bounty hunter. Don't exactly know how it became one. That kind of story could be good or bad. seems to be hit or miss with uh, origin films, it seems. But, yeah, uh, that's all I like to, I wanted to sh share with you is this article I found out about or stumbled upon. And it looks like it kind of came up, I, it's like it came out before or after The Last Jedi, because, okay, yeah. Seventeenth good. Oh no. Good is expected to return as a last Jedi. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. When I was reading through this, it kind of just kind of made me confused and question. When was this written? Sometimes you use sound bites just for a trailer.
that's all I gotta say. Um, I'm hoping to take a break from Star Wars. Uh, talking about Star Wars is called film talk, not Star Wars talk. So I'm aiming to talk about something different next time. So until then, uh, have a good day, good weekend, all that good jazz. See you next time. Peace out.